Okay, today we're looking at math lesson 13.7, use fractions to measure length. I can measure lengths to the nearest half or fourth inch using a ruler. Spark your learning. Sina needs to measure the length of the carrots that she is growing for a science experiment. How long is each of her carrots? So I have my ruler here and one side is centimeters. We've used our rulers here at school, at school and they're centimeters and inches. We're going to measure to the nearest, what did it say? Uh, to the nearest half inch, I think these end up being. So we're going to put the end of our ruler on the inch side and we're going to see that her first carrot is about one and a half inches. So we're going to write one and one half here by this carrot. I'm going to change back to black. One and one half. Now we're going to take our ruler that disappeared. And we're going to measure our second carrot to the nearest inch. So this one is almost two inches. Then we'll measure our third carrot. We'll put the end of our ruler on the tip. And we'll see that this one is three and a half. I'm going to write that at the end of our carrot. And we'll see that this one is about two and three fourths. We went one, two, three marks past our two inches. So one fourth, two fourths, and three fourths. So we'll name that one two and three fourths. And we'll do this one at three and a half. So two and three fourths and three and one half. Measure the length of a leaf. Use a ruler marked with half inches and they give it to you here. Line up the left end of the leaf with the zero mark on the ruler. So what are all the spaces down below? Well, we've we haven't got to the inch yet, so this one is one half. This one, halfway between the one and two, is one and one half. This one is two and one half. Halfway between the four is three and one half. And halfway between the four and the five is four and one half. So what length does the mark on the ruler between the one and the two show? So right here, they're talking about the mark between the one and the two. They're talking about this mark right here. What does it show? It shows us the one and one half. Why is it one and one half? Because that mark is halfway between the one and the two. So it is one half. The mark is halfway between one and two. So it is one and one half. If you need to stop your recording here and write that down, go ahead and do that. Label each of the other marks on the ruler with the fraction or mixed number, which I did. Remember, mixed numbers have whole, a whole number and then the fractional part. Between which two marks does the right end of the leaf line up? Well, it's right here, about at the half mark here, which is two and a half so it's between the two inch and the three inch and the marker is close to the right end of the leaf let's be a little more exact with this too it's between the two and a half and the three but the mark is closer, which mark is closer to the right end of the leaf, so you can see. So it's closer to the two and one half inch. What is the length of the leaf to the, leaf to the nearest half inch? Two and one half inches. 
Okay, let's go on to the step it out on page 2, so 379. Measure the length of this carrot to the nearest fourth or quarter inch. It gives us a little picture of a ruler over here and describes what I described earlier, that the, there's the inch marks, the zero fourths and the four fourths or the one, and in between them in the middle is the longer, which is two fourths, which is also one half, and then the shorter marks in between tell us the one fourth and three fourths. So it's lined up the left end of the carrot with the zero mark on the ruler, which they've already done for you. The right end of the carrot is between three and a fourth. Here's three and a fourth right here. And three and a half. So it's between three and one fourth and three and one half. Which fourth inch mark is closer to the right end of the carrot? Well, you can see that it's closer to the one-fourth than the three-fourths. So it's closer to the three and one-fourth inch mark. The length of the carrot to the nearest fourth inch is three and one-fourth. This is kind of like when we did our estimating with whole numbers. We take the one that it's closest to. Go ahead and try this. Check your understanding with a ruler and then come back to your recording. All right, let's check to see how you did. I found my ruler again, and I'm going to go over here, and it says, what is the length of the stick to the nearest half inch? So I'm going to put my zero mark on the left end of the stick, and I'm going to look. Now we're going to the nearest half inch. So we're going to here. Whoops. We're going to this half inch or this half inch. And it's really closer to this one at two and a half inches. So the stick is, I think I have to shut my ruler off to write. The stick is two and one half inches. Okay, go ahead and flip your paper over on your own. Let's try and go ahead and do this one, it looks like it has some explanation with it, so we might have to stop our recording and check again. Alma and Rex both measure the same pin. Alma says the pin is about five and a half inches long, and Rex says the pin is about five and one fourth inches long. Can both students be correct? Well, they could be. Uh, a pin could be between five and a fourth and five and a half inches in length but closer to five and one fourth than it is to five and one half. If Alma measures to the nearest half inch, she would say the length is five and a half inches, and Rex can be more precise to say the length is five and one fourth inches. I'm gonna, that's a lot of explanation. I'm not going to have you type it, but it could be between five and one fourth, and Alma does measure to the half, and Rex measures to the fourth, and that would make a difference. Use a ruler marked with fourth, inches for three through five. So you'll need your ruler again. I'm going to go ahead and get my ruler. Hopefully I can find it. It always goes to the top of the page. And we're going to measure this as an almond. That's a nut, kind of a nut. And remember, we're measuring to the nearest fourth inch. The nearest fourth inch. So I'm going to bring my ruler down. And I'm going to put the zero mark on that end of the almond. And then we're going to see where it crosses. Now, it's kind of between the one inch and the one and one fourth. <coughs> but it would be closer to the one and one fourth. So your almond would be one and one fourth inches long. While I have the ruler up, let's go ahead and measure the pin. Remember, our almond is one and one fourth. Now the safety pin, they want you to measure to the nearest half inch. So we would need to look at, it ends right here. It, it can either be one and a half or it can be two. So it's past the, so that it is a little bit closer to two. 
So our pin is two inches to the nearest half, and our almond is one and one fourth to the nearest quarter. I'm going to go ahead and write those amounts down. One and one fourth and two inches. inches. Now it wants us to draw a line. So take your ruler and draw a line that is four and three quarter inches long. And then you may go on to your homework.